Today I'm going to show you how you can maintain a high email open rate after this. Hey guys, how you doing? So welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany and this is all about helping you to get better results online. So today I'm going to show you how you can maintain a steady open rate when it comes to email marketing because I know what it's like when you start with a high open rate and then it just steadily declines over time. It's confusing, right? It kind of makes you scratch your head, makes you think what's going on here. I need to figure it out. I'm going to show you. I'm going to help you figure it out today. So for the purpose of simplicity for demonstration, I'm going to draw on a digital whiteboard for this. But if you're listening on the podcast, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through it so you won't miss a thing. So for this, I'm going to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, which might be a bit wobbly. So here at the vertical line, we've got open rate. So we'll give that an OR. And in conjunction to the open rate, almost running parallel to your open rate is the goodwill that you experience or feel from your email list. So let's give that a G, W, goodwill. So when someone subscribes to your email list, the goodwill, the trust, all that stuff is up here. It's really high because you've just given them something of value that really benefits them. So they like you, you've helped them out and they think you're a good guy. You're there on their side. But what happens is over time, so the horizontal line, let's call that pictures. If I can spell it right. So here we are, pictures over time. What happens is the more pictures you send, the goodwill starts to decline over time. Hey, that rhymes. So the more times you send offers and affiliate promos, that kind of thing, the more people kind of get a bit annoyed and you lose the trust and the goodwill that you initially built up. So what's the answer? You might think, well, it's obviously to stop sending pictures. That's not right because you won't make any money then. And we need to make money, right? It's business. So let me clear the whiteboard. I'm going to show you how to fix it. So instead of sending pitch after pitch after pitch, and listen, how many times have we seen an internet marketing website or a make money online website come along, build up a pretty sizable following, last for a few years, and then just go extinct? This is the process that they go through. They build up a lot of goodwill, they attract a following, but they burn it out because of the relentless pitches. And I can think of at least seven websites in the last 10 years that have done exactly that. They come along, they look awesome. It looks like they're really on your side, but every email or every second email is just another sales pitch. And even when they create content, it's just a thinly disguised sales pitch. It doesn't last very long. You and I, both have seen those kind of websites come along and unless they're investing a lot into advertising to keep those fresh leads coming into the business, then they just can't sustain that kind of churn and burn. So I'm going to show you how you can avoid that. Okay. So let's get down into it. So this is a framework from Frank Kern and I've gone through it before. It's called the escape and arrival framework. So on one end, the starting point of the framework, we have a problem and this is where your prospect is. They need to solve a problem. And at the other end of the framework, we have the arrival at a solution. So your prospect wants to go from having a problem, escaping something to arriving at the solution. And it's your job to help get them there, or at least part of the way there. So for this, you really have to know what your prospects want and you have to know how to help them 
get what they want. So for this, you're going to mark off all the steps that they need to take in the order they need to take them to get to the solution quicker than they can on their own. So we use this framework for so many different things. We use it for creating lead magnets, for creating products, for upsells, top of the funnel content. Doesn't matter. This framework is amazing and it works really well when you need to take your prospects on a journey through delivering value. And that journey will ultimately result in them making a purchase with you either through your own product or an affiliate product. So let's say your prospect needs to build a website. So the very first thing that he needs to do might be to buy a domain name. So let's write on DN. And then the second thing that he might need to do is get some web hosting. And then the third thing that he might need to do is install WordPress. And if he goes through all these steps, he will have a website at the end of it. So let's take the very first thing that he needs to do, which is purchase a domain name. Now he can go to GoDaddy and pick out the first name that pops into his head, or we can drill down into this even further and look at the steps involved in creating or in purchasing a domain name. So all the steps to do it properly, he would have to, the first one would be to do some keyword research. So he would have to research the right phrases and keywords that people in his niche are searching for. So that would be the very first step. So that could be a piece of content that you create helping your prospect do some keyword research. And then at the end of that piece of content, you would have a pitch to a product, a relevant product that helps him achieve that goal. And then the second step might be to find the best deal on domain names. So here you might run him through a few different domain name options. Instead of just sending him to GoDaddy, you might look at other domain name providers and run him through the pros and cons of each one and contain your affiliate link to each one of those. So that's another piece of content that delivers value with a little bit of a pitch in there, but it's not over, it's not too heavy. And the trick to this is, even if they don't buy from you, they will still walk away with valuable content, actionable content that they can use. And that's the trick. So you, as Frank Kern says, you demonstrate you can help them by actually helping them. And if you apply this to every piece of content you create, instead of running out with a pitch up front, you will maintain that high open rate because you're delivering absolute value to your audience. And people don't mind being sold to if they get something of value to like actionable information. It's a really simple strategy. It's really effective, but I'm seeing so many people fail to do this properly because they're all about what's in it for them. So when you shift your mindset from what you can get and shift it to what you can give, that is when things start flowing in your direction because you're, you're not making it about you anymore. You're making it about your prospects and how you can serve their needs best. And that's it. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found this useful. If you have, hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel too. It'll be great to have you here and hit that little notification bell so you get another one of these from me tomorrow. So thank you very much for checking this out. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.